Hi everyone, so today I thought I'd do something a wee bit different and um, just document my creative process um, with regards to writing my very first um, long form screenplay. Um, I'd written previously a, a short film but this one is slightly longer and it is based on The Winter Soldier, The Complete Collection. So this video is just going to document the, the, the sort of process that I went through to write the screenplay. So part of my uh, research process was, let me just bring this up for you. I watched basically quite a number of YouTube videos with Joe and Anthony Russo. Now, Joe and Anthony Russo love ensemble storytelling and so this is one of the kind of techniques that I really sought to use in my screenplay which I'm going to talk about a wee bit later. I also looked at the process of Marcus and McFeely and the reason why um, I basically looked at these two pairs was because they worked on a lot of the Captain America films and Obviously it's a Winter Soldier screenplay, so I'm going to be utilising a lot of the characters that are in those films. So I want to give a big shout out to Collider here because I basically watched all of their interviews with Joe and Anthony Russo. Um, one of the things I actually did different is I bought the graphic novel. So. I've never actually read graphic novels before, never read comic books before um, and I knew that this was a story that I wanted to tell because I don't really feel like the, the Winter Soldier really has had his moment yet and I, have, I, I don't feel like Black Widow's had any sort of meaningful attention in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, and part of the reason why I actually um, based the screenplay on this graphic novel was because there is actually a lot of leeway to kind of adapt it and make it consistent with the existing material in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I basically did this by reading the graphic novel and as you can see littering it with post notes. Now this was like the first couple of readings that I did and you can see that there is a fair amount of notes in there. So that just kind of gave me ideas on which characters I could include and which characters I couldn't include. So for example, um, there's a lot of mention of Wolverine in here and as you guys know, Marvel don't currently kind of have sufficient rights to have those guys in movies. So, I cut Wolverine and put Sam Wilson in the place of Wolverine and I thought, um, my, my reasoning behind this was actually because it's a bit more of a kind of emotional arc because it always is Steve, Natasha, Bucky and Sam in the Captain America films so it gives you a wee bit more of a kind of emotional drive, if you will. Also I should mention that Jasper Sitwell is dead in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I replaced him with Sharon Carter and I wrote a little bit more of Agent Hill in to my screenplay. So another big part of the planning process for my screenplay is sketching out what they call a beat sheet. And this is basically just 12 beats that you take your story through and it kind of gives you a point of reference for a lot of the, the plot points that you want to accentuate in your your screenplay. And this is based on a hero's journey, I think it's called, by Vogler. And you just kind of outline your acts. I also should mention that I have post-it notes somewhere with different characters. And so, and so, when I was sketching out my initial forms of my beat sheets, I would stick the character's post-it note 
to where they would come in to the story. Just to interject here, um, one of the, the, the actual biggest things that I, I took out of the, the story from the graphic novel is a lot of the stuff with Doctor Doom. Now the reason for this is because he doesn't get any mention currently in the Marvel Cinematic Universe so it doesn't really make sense to me to include him. Now another thing that I kind of had to bear in mind when I was sketching at my beat sheet was um, I don't know what Marvel are planning on doing in the films right now. So I don't know what's going to come up in Infinity War, I don't know whether or not we're going to get Bucky Cap, who's going to die, who's going to live. So I just kind of um, tried to kind of second guess this and write what I would like to see, which is Bucky on his road to redemption, essentially. You know, the, the public in, in my screenplay aren't really um, sure whether or not Bucky's alive or... Well, they're, they're actually led to believe that he's dead and he can't really face being exposed much in the same way as in the comic books and there are a lot of calls for the public there are a lot of calls from the public for him to face trial for the stuff that he did as the Winter Soldier and so it's quite imperative that he doesn't get found out and I mentioned ensemble storytelling. So basically what I did, at least I, I tried to do, was I made a spreadsheet with my beats and my characters down one axis. Well, my beats down one axis and my characters down the other. And I just basically sort of spoke about where they are in each beat. And I didn't actually finish this. But I thought it would be a good exercise to kind of try and replicate the sort of process that the Russos tend to kind of go through to give each character quite a satisfying sort of emotional arc within the story. Um, and then when I actually came to writing the screenplay, it wasn't too difficult. So my approach was just basically to blitz this in two sessions with my beat sheet beside me, kind of like this set up with the graphic novel. And obviously I had a lot to learn about laying out screenplay. Now I'm going to show you something really, really cool for pages. You can basically Google screenplay templates and import these into pages, which I can't actually show you right now. And so, if you scroll down, you'll find, once you've imported these, your screenplay layouts. And this is really great for me as a beginner because obviously Production companies are quite strict with how they want you to lay out screenplays. But I'm kind of studying that on my own as well. Different kind of margins and ways to lay out my work. So then, as with any great work, I had to print it off and make corrections. Now obviously layout, collect, layout corrections, quite major ones there, and spelling mistakes, plot holes, I find it easier just to kind of proof on hard copies and so that's what I did. And then the final part of the process was actually just to go back to my main document and make the changes. So that's kind of just a brief overview of the process that I went through to write my screenplay. You'll find a blog post in the description if you want to read more. 
and thanks for watching.